YouTube, this is Mike from PhoneJunkie.org. Here I am bringing you a quick tutorial on how to use iOS 6 Passbooks. Now I have been receiving tremendous emails about this and asking me to do a video. And like I promised all my viewers, I'll, if you send me an email at Mike at PhoneJunkie.org and request a certain video, it doesn't have to be with just the iPhone, it could be with any phone. And if I don't have it on hand, I can definitely do my best to get it. If it's out for AT&T and Verizon, I can usually have no problem getting it. And I will be more than happy to do a tutorial video for you. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right into this. All right. right here on my right, the one I'm holding right now is the AT&T version, iPhone 5. On the left here is the Verizon iPhone 5. But shouldn't be any concern with the network at all or anything because I'm, they're both on Wi-Fi and I'm just doing a quick tutorial about the passbooks. Now I know some of the concern was is when people first fired up passbooks they expected to see you know coupons all these things being able to purchase tickets and that's really not how passbook works. When you first launch it up you see this screen right here. You have a little button down here the only button that's actually clickable is the App Store button. When you click on that, it takes you to the App Store. So it really seems like it's not that much for it. But after you dig a little bit deeper, you actually find out that this just takes you to a certain part of the App Store for Passbook. So when you first get in there, um, well, let me go ahead and start off with this. Passbook is a way for you to carry all your, if you go to the movies a lot, um, if you go to a lot of concerts, things like that, you can definitely uh, utilize this app, especially if you travel as well. What it is, is as you see, there's American Airlines in here. If you download this and you purchase a ticket or you want to view your itinerary, you can transfer it to Passbooks, Passbook, excuse me. So that way, you can just pull out your phone when you get to the airport and they can scan you in that way as your ticket instead of having to carry your ticket with you and worry about losing it and all that uh, for people that like to shop and there's some coupons on certain apps like let's say the Walgreens app that's on here there's they have coupons in there and if, instead of trying to print them out and all that you can actually just download it to Passbooks and when you get to Walgreens you just pull out passbooks, pull up the coupon, and they scan it right then and there. It also stores your point cards. So let's say you go to Dylan's or Price Chopper, and you would like to um, use your Chopper Shopper card. But if you're like me, I hate having those on my keys, and I never remember them, so I'm constantly having to sign up for a new card every time I go if I actually want to save some money. This is a lot better. This helps me out way much. So you just actually go in here and you just download it. Now I'm not going to go through the whole process um, because I actually have it on this one already set up. Actually, I am going to go, I'll do that for you guys. Okay, it's down done downloading. So you just open it up. Alright, and right here it tells you a new feature about how you can do the balance rewards and passbook integration. You go in here, you go to rewards. Alright. So you would hit the join now, go through all that, fill this out. Then you would go, all right, I had to pull out the other phone because I already have it on this one. So if you go to the wall, let me go to the Walgreens app. All right, so you would go to the rewards and I already have a reward. So after you make that account, this will pop up when you hit rewards. This is what you would, you could either go to the app, pull this out and let them scan this. As you can see, it gives you a card number. And that way when you go to Walgreens, you just pull that out. But you go right here, add to passbook. 
Now add with store. That means if you have a local Walgreens you always visit, you can select that. And that way, if they have certain deals going on, they can send it right to you. Or you can just add to Passbook without store. It'll say loading Passbook. Go like that. And then this will be blue. And it will say add. See, it's already added, so it's not letting me click add. But you would just hit add. So let's get out of here. Go over to Passbook. And when you go into Passbook, it doesn't take you to that main screen anymore. It takes you to this one. So as you see on this one, I still go to this screen. But now that I have cards in here, it doesn't take me to that. Now you see Target down here. I just go like that. Now my Target rewards, excuse me, not my rewards, but my coupons. I downloaded the coupon one to show you about that. So it doesn't tell you which coupon it is but it's actually more than one it is let me go in it's good for all these dollar off with purchase of two green giant fresh vegetables it gives you the selection of what you can choose from limit one item or offer per coupon one dollar off for shut up frozen pizza so it's good for all these coupons right here and they just scan that at the store and it would give it to you it tells you the expiration date and so on so if you need to you just hit that I again it goes back in there and tells you what it's good for you can trash it or when you're done you just hit like that and you're good to go and if you had movie tickets airline tickets it'd be all in here just like that you would flip through them and for the most part that's just the basic uh, passbook on how to set it up now if more things pop up that I forgot to mention in this, I would definitely do an update. If you guys have any questions or if you guys went over something that I didn't cover, please leave a comment below so that way we can all, you know, get to learn how to use this because Apple didn't do a very good job. Alright, well you all have a good day and don't forget to subscribe.